One of the reoccurring themes in postmodern art is environmentalism. Richard Misrak uses his photography to raise awareness about the damaging behavior of civilization on the environment and other issues. Today we will be highlighting one of his most famous pieces, Outdoor Dining, through formal analysis and contextualizing the work with Misrak's history, worldview, and other projects. Richard Misrak was born in Los Angeles, California in 1949. Misrak moved to Berkeley and studied psychology at UC Berkeley in 1971, graduating with a BA in psychology. During his time spent on campus, he was influenced by anti-war riots and began photographing these events. Misrak's first major project was com er, completed in 1974 and displayed the homeless people residing on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley, California. He published his collection of photographs in the book Telegraph 3 AM. Ms. Rack's works are heavily influenced by society's effects on the environment. He is best known for his series of photographs, Crimes and Splendors, the Desert Cantos of Richard Misrak, which captures the ongoing theme of humanity's effect on nature. Outdoor Dining by Richard Misrak in 1992 was captured in the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. The image displays an expansive view with, from within the salt flats. A mountain protrudes from the horizon in the distance. Meanwhile, the sun is located below the horizon and out of frame, casting only indirect light upon the scene. The diffused light softens shadows, creating muted, warm, and even tones throughout the image. The central foreground is filled with six white tables, each accompanied by orange chairs that appear to have been lifted right out of a cafe. The cafe counter is located on the edge of the frame and in the left foreground. Two traffic cones can be seen just beyond the tables and chairs. The scene appears quiet and without any human activity. The salt of the flat is a crusty white and is only subtly textured by the diffused light in the scene. Several subtle lines bisect the foreground surface, likely the result of vehicle tires. Outdoor dining presents the viewer with a strange scene, portraying human elements that are typically encountered within a city or town in a desolate and uninhabited area. The image poses questions involving the human relationship with nature and how humans shape their surrounding environment and the planet as a whole. The absence of people from the image, as well as the orange traffic cones that are often associated with caution or danger, seem to imply a subtle warning or foreboding of the future as human impacts continue to grow in intensity. Ms. Rack's focus on how humans interact with their environment and the resulting impacts is a consistent theme throughout his work. Outdoor Dining is part of Desert Cantos, an ongoing project of Misrax that was started in 1979. The inspiration for the name Desert Cantos probably comes from Dante's Inferno, where the different levels of hell are split into cantos. Much in the same way, Misrak's pictures are split into his numbered series, of which there are currently 39. Misrak uses the desert as the main subject of his photography because it is a reminder of the fragility of human existence. The starkness of the landscape sets off the impurities left by human intervention. All of the work done for Desert Cantos had political themes, some more obvious than others. For example, in Desert Cantos 6, The Pit, Ms. Rack photographed a pile of dead livestock. The viewer encounters a pile of decomposing animals reduced to bare bones and entrails mixed with debris. Accompanying the image was a description of an atomic test that occurred in 1953. Ranchers herding sheep across the Sand Springs Valley were exposed to fallout from an upshot not whole nuclear tests. In all, 4,390 animals were confirmed to be killed by radiation poisoning, but the Atomic Energy Commission blamed a dry year and malnutrition. Though the photograph from Desert Canto 6 were from county-designated dead animal pits and not from the events of 1953, they served as a visual for an event that had been hushed and forgotten and as a reminder for the dangers behind nuclear energy and warfare. While outdoor downing addresses our disconnect with the environment, Dead animals conveys human destruction of the environment, and maybe even ourselves. Richard Misrak became one of the most influential contemporary photographers, pushing the photographic medium toward an emphasis on large format color imagery. His work captures much more than a beautiful scene, often calling into question the human relationship with nature and how our species continues, how, how our species continues to shape the planet. Outdoor dining exemplifies the themes and ideas that are prevalent throughout much of his work. However, he is clear about the influences that have helped shape his career. 
If it weren't for Berkeley, I would be doing pretty landscapes, he says. Due to his early exposure to the social and environmental challenges that he was exposed to at California Berkeley, such as the Vietnam protests, Misrach was unable to simply capture beautiful images. The idea is that I would be asceticizing this horrific thing, making beautiful objects out of something terrible. Herein lies the power of Misrach's photography. Although the imagery often depicts destruction and degradation, the viewer is drawn in by seductive yet tragic beauty. I've come to believe that beauty can be a very powerful conveyor of difficult ideas. It engages people when they might otherwise look away.